Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Business of OTT. My name is Chris Linden, and I'm the Chief Operating Officer of Active Video. Today, I've got the pleasure of meeting Jeff Miller, who is the Chief Executive Officer of Active Video. Welcome, Jeff. How are you doing? Hey, Chris. I'm doing well. How are you? Good, good. So, Jeff, uh, this year uh, has been a very interesting year. Uh, COVID has created challenges for many around the world. Active Video has offices in San Jose, California, and the Netherlands in Hilversum, and they've been closed since mid-March. What has Active Video been doing to manage through this, and how has it impacted the industry? Uh, well, you know, COVID was the big surprise of, uh, of 2020. And uh, certainly with not just our offices here and around the world, we, uh, in, uh, in the Netherlands, we have a lot of uh, individuals around the world who work on our programs and work with customers. It's been a big impact. Um, however, we were already quite prepared for working from home. Uh, you know, being a software organization and focused on software, the ability to work at home has always been important to us. So the shift to working at home, which we do uh, 100%, both in California and in the Netherlands, um, we were prepared for it. it uh, our development cycles continued as, uh, as we hoped they would. We've been quite productive and uh, successful in getting our work done this year. On the other hand, it has also impacted our ability to go visit customers and, um, and you know, talk about the things that we have going on. Uh, so we've been doing a lot of video conferencing, um, but uh, you know, I would be remiss if I said that uh, we didn't have any impact to COVID. One of the biggest impacts is just trying to keep uh, employees positive and understanding that this will eventually be over and, and moving on. And we've done a lot to try to do that as well. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, the other impact that we've seen over 2020 is the rise of OTT, not only in terms of revenue, but in terms of different offerings that these content providers are delivering. What effect has this had on your operator customers? Uh, well, initially, uh, when the world began to go into lockdown, we saw a large spike in usage of our platform around the world, indicating a lot of uh, additional usage of OTT services and television in general. So the impact on operators uh, was not very negative to their businesses. The shift to OTT, however, has actually accelerated trends that were already starting. So the operators were already interested and engaged in uh, deploying over-the-top services to their customers. And a lot of them had gone around uh, porting a few apps uh, to their devices so that customers could have access to it. The, uh, the rise of uh, OTT usage during COVID has actually just accelerated that trend. And uh, now we see operators uh, even more interested and even more focused on uh, delivering uh, OTT apps to their subscribers and making sure that they have access to that content. Now, at the beginning of uh, 2019, Active Video announced the, the uh, App Cloud uh, SaaS solution. Uh, tell us about what the response has been for the operator community and what the status of the product is to address the challenges that they're facing. Yeah, that's a good question. And yeah, we did announce uh, that we were working on App Cloud at uh, IBC in September last year while we were all still traveling. Uh, the reception at the show was strong, but the reception over 2020 was very strong. We've engaged with operators around the world, which is remarkable given that we can't travel. And uh, the only uh, way we've been able to get our message out there is through video conference calls and, and uh, our marketing efforts. But the, uh, the operator community is very interested in this. Again, uh, I think the COVID OTT rise has, in, has heightened the interest. The other thing that's happened is, you know, operators spent a lot of 2019 working on applications for their set-top boxes. Uh, they were getting some of the big ones into their set-top boxes, ported and running, Netflix and, and Amazon and YouTube being some of them. And uh, now that they've done that a few times, they see just how hard that actually is. And, uh, you know, some of these apps are starting to be updated and changed, and the operators have to deal with that. And uh, as other significant applications have started to come out, Disney Plus, Peacock, you know, and the rise of uh, Avod uh, through the year um, with additional apps has begun to frighten the operators that, you know, they, they're on an, a no-win proposition here if they try to port all these apps and ensure that they run uh, continuously on their set-top boxes. So that, that has also heightened the interest of uh, operators in our app cloud solution. Okay. And in terms of the business model, more people staying home, more OTT being consumed than ever before, has that 
change the business model as you see it with these operator partners? Well, I think the, in some way, yes, in some ways it will, and it has. Um, I think one of the biggest business model uh, changes that's occurring right now is that uh, you know while all these OTT apps have become available and consumers are certainly interested in them, they're beginning to be fatigued by the number of subscriptions they have to have um, in order to get the content they want. You know, they have they have to have a, a Disney Plus, they have to have an HBO Max, they have to have a Netflix, they have to have an Amazon, and so on and so on uh, to get the content. Um, in the previous business model of television, linear television simply meant changing the channel. Um, if you want to see something different than you're watching right now. Now it means switching applications. So there's some fatigue uh, setting in in the subscribers. OTT is good, but they are beginning to see the downsides as well. And that is driving the, uh, the content providers to create more free ad-supported uh, applications, which we call AVOD, that um, you know, are, are gaining traction. And we expect that to be the, the, uh, the thing we're all talking about in 2021 as we move forward going forward in the future. Um, I guess last question, uh, over the over the COVID lockdown, uh, I did something I never thought I would do. I got a puppy. Yeah, we hear uh, that in the background. <laughs> is there uh, anything you've done uh, that's uh, uh, eventful in, in, in your life that you wouldn't see yourself doing other than through the lockdown? Well, um, I've become somewhat of a cook, I guess, is probably the thing I would say. With, uh, with restaurants closed or running reduced capacity, um, my wife and I chose to dig out some nice cookbooks from some of our favorite restaurants around the world and have learned how to cook some of the dishes. It's, it's been kind of fun. I hope I can still fit into my work clothes when this is all over. <laughs> well, thanks a lot, Jeff, for joining us. And uh, there you see my puppy. Thanks everybody for joining us for the business of OTT. And we look forward to seeing you soon. <laughs> Likewise, Chris. Thanks a lot. We'll see you soon.